Buffalo starts short of their 20 at their own 17-yard line, trailing by 11, 24-13. They've got some making up to do. Joe Robbie Stadium, he becomes the hero thus far. Jim Kelly on first down, down by 11 points. He throws high. It's incomplete intended for Ronnie Harmon. Let's go to New York. And then... Ooh, those extra points. It is second down and 10 after the Kelly incompletion. He steps up. He fires. He's got Flip Johnson. A great pass and catch by Johnson out over the 35 to the 36-yard line. And Lewis Oliver playing with a twisted ankle comes in and rocks Johnson after he made the catch. Yeah, Buffalo goes to the hurry-up offense down by 11 points. They've got to put two scoring drives together with just 3.40 left in the game. So they go right back to work after a 19-yard pass play. And he connects this time with Andre Reed, and that's what's been missing from their attack all day long. Go back to the first half when Reed dropped what looked like a sure touchdown strike from Kelly. That seemed to begin the problems for the Buffalo offense. They've been running the ball extremely well. They go play action fake. Perfect throw by Jim Kelly. Dropped by Andre Reed. And since then, this Buffalo offense has not done well. 3.31 left in regulation time. The catch is made by Thomas. He's going to try and get out of bounds and pick up yardage. And does both very well as Oliver was trying to chase him. And he gets it inside the Miami 40-yard line now. Down to the 38. And they move closer. Plus... They're really conserving that clock. If you're sitting home in Buffalo and saying, wait a minute, why weren't they doing this all day? Well, that's not quite fair because Miami's defense is now playing well off the ball. They're willing to give that underneath stuff to Jim Kelly. And that's the reason for these big pickups. Hard leaving. Ted Marchabrota, the offensive coordinator. How do you get 11 points in a hurry? They need that to tie. Reed pulls it down. Inside the 30, he's brought down by Rodney Thomas at the 27-yard line. Clock running. They must hustle. 12-yard pickup and a first down. Coming up to three minutes remaining. Kelly out of the shotgun. Takes a look. Ends on. Flip Johnson. Touchdown, Buffalo! Beautifully orchestrated drive by Kelly to get them right back in the game. First and ten, Kelly without timeouts. Down by four points. He's got a man. Caught. Chris Burkett makes the catch. They're into Miami territory at the 42. Remember, they're out of timeouts. A minute 33, and it's running. And they're right up to the line of scrimmage. Big rush from the blind side. He got it off to Thomas. First down at the 36. Kelly calling the plays at the line of scrimmage. He called two in the huddle to begin the drive, but now he's got an audible at the line. And with this crowd, it might be difficult to do. Down to a minute five remaining. And he connects again. That's three in a row. Rodney Thomas smothers Burkett after he makes the catch. Under a minute. No timeouts. I mean, he really, at this point, might be worth throwing an incompleted pass to stop the clock. Kelly, he's got Johnson. He threw it high at the 11-yard line. For a brief second, number 80 was wide open. It was wide open, and Kelly put it right between the two defenders. The Bills made a tactical error, though. They spent too much time at the line of scrimmage. What Kelly did was he changed the strength of the formation. The backs had a switch, the receivers had a switch, and so did the tight end. It cost them five or six seconds. 41 seconds remaining. Nursing a four-point lead. That's Don Shula, along with Tom Olivadotti. He's got the headset. But this guy's got control of the ball game right now. He's got another man picked out. It's Thurman Thomas down to the 20. They'll mark him at the Miami 19-yard line with a half minute left. Kelly's got to throw the ball out of bounds. If he doesn't have a play call now, he's got to throw it out. The clock is ticking. He's taking too much time at the line. 23 seconds. Kelly steps up. He's got Andre Reed down to the five. They'll mark. 
mark him back at the six-yard line, but time is running. Look at this, 12 seconds. Seven. Now the five. He takes the snap and drills it down into the ground with two seconds left. And there'll be a flag on the play because one of the Dolphins did not get back. Kelly is under no obligation to wait for him to do so. Play by Jim Kelly. He's completely within the rules just to take it and throw it right into the ground. Well, with two seconds left to go, it's down to this. Touchdown wins it. Anything short of that, Miami's got it. What a finish here at Joe Robbie Stadium. 24-20 Dolphins. Two seconds left. The ball at the eight-yard line of Miami. One play does it. Mark Gibrota just tells Marv Levy, here's what we're going to run. Let's watch. Two seconds left. They have to get into the end zone. And Kelly now turns and says, I can't hear. He's going to run it. Touchdown, Buffalo. They win on the last play of the ball game. about 270 yards of offense. Well, if you want to contest that, get on the telephone. On first down, the pass is high and out of bounds, intended for Burkett. You know, the, the crazy thing about that season, Washington that year had such a tremendous night, people think he scored uh, a lot of touchdowns uh, that season. He holds the NFL record for most carries in a year without scoring a touchdown. As Buffalo goes without a huddle on second and ten and that's dropped up at the 27 yard line by Andre Reed. This is a situation where Jim Kelly now without a huddle calls his own plays. That time he took a break looked over to the sideline for some advice but in the final two drives against Miami he called every single play. Third and ten again without the huddle and it's tipped but there's a flag down. Tipped by Dennis Smith, but a marker down at the 40-yard line. And it goes against the Broncos. Illegal contact, 36, defense, 5 yards, automatic first down. Mark Haynes making his first appearance. He has been out most of the training camp, missed last week's game against... Kansas City with a bad back, and here it is working against number 85, Burkett. You're allowed that one shot inside that five-yard zone. That contact between Burkett and Haynes happening well beyond the, the five-yard mark as Alfonso Carriker walks off the field, hobbling a bit. But what a, uh, what a penalty that was against Denver. That was a third down incompletion. Gives Buffalo a first down. Warren Powers, rookie from Maryland, replaces character. And here's Thomas, breaking one into Bronco territory, brought down at the 32-yard line from behind by Atwater. But there's a flag down back at the line of scrimmage. And, and this is holding number 67 offense. The feet makes a hit, but all for naught. First and 20 now. Kelly. Up to the 29-yard line where Kenneth Davis makes the catch and pays the price. Plan B free agent played at Green Bay. He was the high pick of the Packers four years ago out of TCU. Kelly going without the huddle keeps Denver from changing up defensively, a la the Cincinnati Bengals and Sam White. Second down and seven here. And the low throw and the catch is made by Andre Reed up at the 40-yard line for a first down. Boy, and that's some recovery. That's a type of a penalty after a long run by Thurman Thomas that can really break your back. And yet Buffalo comes back in just two plays and gets the first down again. The fact that Buffalo's doing this was across by a moving bill. 61 defense. And for all night. Makes it first and five from the 45-yard line. And Kelly pass into a lot of traffic. Flip Johnson surrounded by four white shirts. 
second and five. Kelly had to get rid of it. The safety blitz was on with Denver, bringing their rookie Steve Atwater. Good blitzing safety, the rookie from Arkansas. Almost got to Kelly. And despite the fact the clock has stopped on the incompletion, they still operate with that huddle, and it's incomplete up at the 50-yard line, and there's a marker down. Well, Denver got caught with 12 men on the field. They didn't get a substitution done in time. They tried to substitute. 12 men on the field. Defense. This is not a two-minute drill. This is a 20-minute drill. We have 5.07 to go in the third period. And the catch is not made by... For a cat who drops it at the 45-yard line, it would have been a first down. That's one of the few bad throws by Kelly. Burkett could have caught it, but it would have been a tough chance. Again, we'll take a quick look at it because the Bills, once again, going with the hurry-up offense. Well, Burkett's expecting that ball back to the inside. Second and 10, and Harmon is open at the 27-yard line to make the catch. What a shot. Kip Corrington comes in and just levels Ronnie Harmon. I have no idea how he held onto the ball. At the 27-yard line. Kelly has a wide open field in front of him. Inside the 10 and slides to the 7. Yeah, this hurry-up offense has turned things around for the Bills. They're taking command of this. Denver making the mistakes now. And we're going to get the crowd back in, and that's not going to hurt the Bills. By far, Buffalo's deepest penetration. After a 21-yard pickup, here's Thomas taking it all the way down to the one-yard line. Atwater and Corrington in on the tackle. Kennebrew and Mueller are the backs, and this is Kennebrew walking into the end zone. Kinnebrew almost hurt himself on the spike. One minute you're blocking 290 pounds, the next minute you're blocking air. And Bruce Smith showing why he is clearly the AFC's greatest defensive lineman. And it is just an ongoing battle between he and Reggie White. Who's the king of the hill? And that Buffalo offensive team came out onto the field, into the huddle, up to the line of scrimmage before Denver defense, defense was even set. They're ready to play. First and 10 from the 34-yard line, and there's a flag. Oh, yeah. Defensive pass interference, 24, first down. To the game. I think we'll see it. First and 10 from the 40-yard line. Kelly finds the open man, and that's Flip Johnson for a first down. At the Bronco 46-yard line, Tyrone Braxton makes the tackle. I'll tell you something the Bills are going to get called for if they don't watch out is how far their offensive line is off the ball. That time, Howard Ballard was a yard off the ball. Look where he's lined up. You're supposed to be within a foot of the football. Right tackle, number oh. 75. And the catch is made at the 36-yard line. Andre Reed making the catch about five yards short of the first. If our friend Sam Weiss is watching this game, uh, he has to be saying, well, it's taken you guys a long time to figure out what I've known for years. Boomer is sitting back <laughs> smiling. Well, I don't know. I think they kind of enjoyed their little private gig they had going. But look at Ballard. He, this guy's a yard and a half off the ball. The nine-yard gain, second and one, and Kelly going for six, and it's incomplete, intended for Reed. And Henderson back there with him. Now in the long pass, half. long pass, Denver will be able to make a change. Although they only bring in one man. But it's kind of strange to watch Buffalo doing this with Ted Marchabrotto, the offensive coordinator, and, of course, Marv Levy, known as conservative coaches. Uh, well, they should be. They tutored under George Allen, who he was a very conservative offensive coach, and they were both with him at the Rams and later the Washington Redskins. He believed in don't turn it over yourself. Don't hurt yourself. And great defense. And that's what Buffalo has been up until tonight. Kennebrew and Mueller. The two studs in the backfield. Back of Kelly. And this is Mueller fighting for the first down and getting it inside the 35-yard line. Kennebrew at about 260 and Mueller at about 230 behind Kelly that time. Well, on Kennebrew's touchdown, it was Mueller with the lead block. 
This time it's Kinnebrew attempting the lead block. Mecklenburg left his feet a little early. That is a full house backfield. On first and 10 from the 34, it is almost intercepted by Randy Robbins. So the attempt to Ronnie Harmon, who was playing out of the wide receiver spot, and the pass that Kelly should not have thrown. Well, you know what? He got hit right when he delivered the ball. Warren Powers, number 91, came in. Boy, did he hit Kelly, and I don't know if he caught him right in the act of throwing, but I think it had a lot to do with the poor pass. Second and 10. Kelly, wide open field again, but he's caught from behind by the speedy feet at water. And Kelly comes away limping. As the period comes to a climax, and that will be the final play of the third quarter. And that's a break for Buffalo that this is the end of the quarter. Going to give Kelly a chance to, uh, to rest. Bills get back in it after three. The Broncos lead it 21 to seven and will return to Monday Night Book period. It is third down and three for the Bills. Seeking the first down, they've gotten to the 19-yard line. Burkett makes the catch. He's tackled by Braxton. And the magic all started when Buffalo went to a no-huddle offense. Magic might have started at halftime when there was a lot of chewing going on in that locker room. Yeah, but it's now my 11 against your 11. That was Burkett's first catch of the night on first and 10 from the 20. Kelly going for Harmon. Bills beginning from the 30 out of the shotgun. Kelly, a little jump pass over the middle, juggles, and the catch was never made. Incomplete. Intended for Thomas, second down. Bills again will not huddle. And again, this will keep a defensive chain, keep the specialists off the field for the Broncos. The Bills know the personnel that's out there. They know what will go against it. Kelly. Stepping up again, and this time wrapped up at the 28-yard line by Andre Townsend and Warren Powers. Good question here. Powers, 91 on his back, 91 on one sleeve, 91 on the front. The sleeve on the far side has number 19 on it. That's four minutes in short yardage at the end of the line. <laughs> Third and 11. Inside handoff out of the shotgun to Thomas. Thomas has the first down and is... Spun out of bounds at the 47-yard line by Braxton. Oh, great call. Great call. Out of the shotgun formation, just coming across. Little underneath handoff. Everybody on the Denver side of it's playing pass. And Thurman Thomas gets a chance to make up for dropping the ball on first down. Gutsy call by Marv Levy. And or Jim Kelly, whoever first made it. And 10 at the 46-yard line. Reed! First down at the Denver 41. Any resemblance of the Buffalo Bills offense to the first half, purely coincidental. They are, tactically, they are totally different emotionally in every way. They are controlling this game now. Went to the hurry-up offense halfway through the third quarter. The pull to within seven. On the move again. Kelly on first down. And Kelly goes down at the 47-yard line starting to slip, and the sack is finally recorded Well, that's a, Simon Fletcher. That's a key for Denver if they can force Jim Kelly to move. Jim Kelly is not one of the great move quarterbacks in the game today. He bears no resemblance to John Elway in that respect, and it's a, it's a victory for Denver if they can get Kelly to move. Second down and 16. And the catch made by number 23, Kenneth Davis, and there's a flag down. At the Holding, 24 defense, 5 yards, automatic first down. First down from the 42-yard line. Kelly. And it drops at the 5 by Harmon. Oh, did Braxton touch that? Boy, Braxton Kelly was awful close. close. He's acting like he did. It was very Boy, close. Boy, it's close. I mean, a desperation died by Braxton, but... I think he came a little short of the ball. I think that's a drop by Andre Reed. Okay, let's, let's, I mean, Ronnie Harmon, let's, we'll take a look at it after this play. Back sure. live here, and that pass yeah. is incomplete, intended for Davis. Let's go back and look at it again. Here's Braxton going to dive for it. 
and he came short. No, Ronnie Harmon had that ball right in his hands. Ooh, and Braxton's already on the ground. That's, that's a touchdown Buffalo if he holds on to it. It wasn't last week against Miami. It was Andre Reed who dropped oh. a sure touchdown pass from Kelly. Two sure-handed receivers. So now it's third and ten from the 42-yard line. Kelly. This is where Jim Kelly. up in his own 45 by Warren Powers. Yeah, that's where Kelly doesn't make the same kind of decision that John Elway can make. Broncos in a safety blitz. It paid off again as Steve Atwater from Arkansas, their rookie. Kelly on first down, a little dump off to Harmon. There's plenty of blocking, but Harmon starts to slip and is taken down at the 32-yard line. Corrington making the tackle. Three and a half to go. Bills have all of their timeouts remaining. That's where somebody for Buffalo needs to make a big play. They need to break a couple of tackles. Three-man rush, second and six. And Kelly will run out of bounds for a first down up at the 45-yard line with 314. Excuse me, you have that much time, and obviously Denver is laying off in a deep zone to prevent defense, but they should take advantage with this much time remaining of the over-the-middle stuff. Well, Frank Trojans will uh, be hosting Ohio State in our day part of the doubleheader. College football is down there. Kelly on first down hits Thurman Thomas at the 47 of Denver, and then prime time college football on Saturday as well, where Dan's Wolverines, and there's your man, Bo, taking on the Bruins of UCLA. A couple of Big Ten, Pac-10 matchups there, huh? I think they've worked on their special teams. The big boys on the big boys. Oh, you think so? <laughs> I'd, like to be a, I'd like to be a member of the Michigan kickoff coverage team. How many live kickoffs do you figure they'll cover this week? I'll be transferring to LSU. <laughs> and meanwhile, Buffalo is moving right along. First down on the catch by Andre Reed from the 36-yard line. See, this is what they'll give you, and you've got to take it because you still have enough time to do it. And Reed makes another catch at the 26-yard line. That is close to a first down and, in fact, is at the 25. Don't file this one away yet. Nope. Again, three-man rush. Kelly being pursued. Kelly throwing and picked off at the seven-yard line by Wyman Henderson. And that will wrap it up for the Broncos. I think Kelly's going to have to handle it from here on out. With this 17 to nothing thing, he's going to have to go in that no huddle time. He's got all of his timeouts and almost two full minutes to try to get something. Two fumbles by Kelly. Then a key at this first half. There's Andre Reed. And Reed is to the 38 yard line. That's where Johnson was putting pressure on Kelly as he threw. So far, the Colts have done a good job of stopping Reed, who has been tremendously effective, averaging seven catches a game in the first four. What a catch by Thurman Thomas. He's at the 50, and he's still going. Haven't heard a whistle yet. And then down at the 38-yard line, a flag also down. Defensive holding is declined. First down, Buffalo. So the gain of 11. At this point, the Colts should think no touchdown if it's a field goal okay don't give a touchdown up at the end of the half Here don't give up a blitz. touchdown and it's incomplete they hurry Kelly looking for Don Beebe a young receiver from Shadron State was drafted in the third round and he's fast as one that's a good name Beebe they say he can outrun everyone on this Buffalo team they say he's one of the fastest people in football today of course you still have to be able to catch it He's way out to the left on this sequence, and Kelly throws it. It's intercepted. Keith Taylor.
A couple of uh, major surprises uh, thus far this afternoon, Juice. The, uh, the Colts big over Buffalo, Tampa Bay uh, rolling up the points and leading Chicago. Well, the, uh, the, Colt, uh, the Colts, they figured to be an excellent football team this year, and everyone knew this would be a toss-up football game. Surprisingly, Buffalo's down 20 to nothing, but that's been the trend of the Bills this year. They get behind early, and they've made some big comebacks early in the week, earlier uh, in the season, I should say. First NFL interception. Kelly Guns and has his man Beebe, the second catch of the season for the rookie. Here's a no huddle. Beebe's first was a 63 yard touchdown. He gets 13 on that one. Now Kelly's calling his own plays, of course, with this no huddle offense. No signals from the sideline. He's on his own. Trailing 23 nothing, trying to take advantage of all the time remaining. And Thurman Thomas with a fine reception. And Thomas goes out of bounds down at the 45 of Indianapolis. Well, there's two big plays and very little time consumed. Thurman Thomas is turning to an excellent receiver. They never thought by any chance he was a receiver coming from the uh, college running background he had. But he's turning into a great one. He's powerful, quick. In the no huddle. Crowd quiet for a moment. Quick hit to Andre Reed down at the 40-yard line. A gain of about six. Coverage by Chris Good on the left corner. You, you can just guess that that front four now of the Colts are exploding into that line of scrimmage and pass rush. They're not concerned about anything but pass rush. Now this will tire the defense, but the truth of the matter is the offense and they know how to late get equally exhausted. Dickett on a blitz. Kelly runs out of there and runs for daylight and safety. Pushed out of bounds by Taylor at the 35. Might be a first down. It is. I think Bickett really surprised Kelly blitzing that time. Just surprised him, and Kelly did the instinctive thing of run right up back up underneath him. 11 and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. The Bills in a desperate no huddle situation early. Trailing 23 nothing. Underneath and almost juggled and caught by the Colts as Beebe couldn't hang on. Dwayne Bickett making the play for the Colts. Well, one thing that happens with this offense, uh, a sort of a machine gun offense, no huddle, the receivers tire. Unless you can substitute for them. Andre Reed mentioning to us before the game, Dick, uh, Saturday, that, that that is fine, but he can tire out himself and lose his quickness. Quick snap goes right to Ronnie Harmon and a good play. Harmon down to the 21-yard line in a first down. A direct snap to Harmon and Bickett made that tackle as well. Well, they were pass rushing as we just mentioned and, he's, and Ronnie split him on a draw. Ronnie Harmon. Kelly. Reed. Andre Reed with about eight, nine yards before he stacked up. Bruce Plummer in on that tackle. Well, they're forcing the Colts into just a basic defense with four linemen rushing. They're getting a little tired. The offensive linemen have a little advantage now on that. His receivers are going to tire somewhat and they'll lose the Christmas of their patterns because they're running one right after another. Kelly throws it away. Closest man was Ronnie Harmon. Well covered. That will give them all a rest. Brings up third down and two. Ten and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter, and the Bills trailing 23 0. This is really a mirror of what we saw Buffalo employ against Denver in the Monday night game. Down 21 0 in that one. Now hand off to Thomas. Thomas on his way to a touchdown, but a flag is down. Holding 10 yards, number 70, still third down. Well, they have two downs to get this done. Two downs for 11 yards. Good protection for Kelly and almost intercepted by number 37 Chris Good intended for Flip Johnson. Well they're going for a field goal. Now they're going to need one sooner or later. The Colts meanwhile fear the defense. Onto the field comes the Pro Bowl kicker of the AFC Scott Norwood. Well, what a year he had last season. He missed only five of 37 field goal attempts. He's five for six this year. His first today is 40 yards. And it is no good. Wide to the right. Hello. 
But when your star player, the player, has an off game, and he has, the results are obvious, 23-0. He's gotten just a little bit reckless and has cost the team. He's tried to make plays that weren't really natural plays. Our guess is they'll stay with that no-huddle offense. It worked on the last drive. Almost intercepted by Bruce Plummer. And again, trying to knife that ball through about five defenders to Andre Reed. Well, the Colts, uh, Bill Muir, the Colt coordinator on defense, has got him is making some excellent defensive calls. They backed into a zone. Kelly tried to force it down the field. Plummer cut right across in front of the ball. Now back to live action, and Kelly is swallowed by Ezra Johnson, the spring chicken. 34-year-old Johnson has his sixth sack of the year. Really a popular guy, isn't he? 34 years old. Started at Green Bay and, of course, uh, talked to us about the notoriety gained from eating the hot dog during a preseason game. Might have cost Bart Starr's job. But, boy, at his age, he's still lightning quick and strong, 252 pounds, and is among the leaders in the league in sacks now with six. Third down and a long yardage to go, and a catch by Beebe, and he has a first down at the 46 of Indianapolis. And comes out of there holding an arm. Well, they rolled Kelly out just at the right time because the Colts were really zeroing in with their pass rush, brought him to the outside on a rollout, got him clear, and he used his arm to get that deep out completed. Well, back goes Kelly into that shotgun. Five and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Ronnie Harmon. And he's wrapped up after about an eight-yard game. And the Colts will take their time on piling, if for no other reason, to kill some seconds and get a breather. Kelly's calling the play. He's got to go to both sides of the offense with all this noise and using, using hand signals to get it done. Out of the backfield to Thomas. And Thurman Thomas brought down by Good and Bickett. But it's another Buffalo first down. The clock running under five minutes to go in the third. 23-0 Colts. He's going to have to throw every down. He's going to have, they're going to have to keep as fresh a receiving core in the game as they can. Well, you think back to that penalty that cost the Bills a touchdown on the run by Thomas earlier. How big that might become. Here comes Thomas again, threading his way up the middle for six or seven. A reminder to our viewers, we'll be selecting the Budweiser most valuable player in today's game. That'll be announced at the conclusion of this contest. This is a battle of attrition. Both sides, offense and defense, are really feeling this no-huddle offense. It's caught nicely by BB again. What a clean shot by Kelly. Now there's where that great arm showed up. He drilled that ball beautifully on that out pen. BB who played at Western Illinois a couple of years and went to Shadron State. Drafted in the third round. He can fly. First down at the 16. Into the end zone to Reed. Touchdown. And Kelly delivering that ball with two Colts drilling him, and is he okay? He has prided himself in staying in there. Told us yesterday, I'll stay in that extra second. This is nice. It's snowing in Buffalo. They can handle this weather without any problem. Kelly drops it again over the middle of middle screen on the delay. Thurman Thomas. Thomas to the 40. Now he goes out of bounds at the 44-yard line to stop the clock. 136. A lot of time remaining. 17 yards. First down Buffalo. Looking to the right. Good head fake and sets up the middle screen. As you can see, the lineman staying there. Thomas behind them, but it was the head fake and the look to the right side, but the veteran quarterback that set it up. Now, this one, he bounces, and it is going to be incomplete. Ernie Harmon, the intended receiver, but he took it on the bounce. 
Jim Kelly touchdown passes last season in 16 games. He had 15. Look what he's done this season in seven games. He is really having a fine year. On the money to BB. BB out of bounds. Stops the clock at the New England 42 yard line. Charlie, I think the thing that Kelly has improved most, we have a flag down yes. on the far side of the field. Five men on the field on a defense. That's You're a right, Charlie. Good call. Good eyes on that and one. Second down. Kelly from the shotgun. And it's incomplete. Second and ten at the 42. BB the intended receiver. Tell you how desperate Charlie this New England defense and Errol Tucker number 21 with two days practice is on the field. And Buffalo in a hurry up two minute offense. Sideline pass is complete. Great catch. And out of bounds at the 29. First down gain of 13. Excellent concentration and BB is fitting in so well. They love his speed. And they also love his hands when he handles the ball like that. He senses that sideline so well. And as you notice, be sure to be with us in halftime, NFL Live. Bob Costas and OJ will be updating all the scores and highlights. Good catch again. At the eight-yard line, Ronnie Harmon. 21 yards, first and goal. Charlie, so often when we see that ball thrown on the sideline and we say the receiver couldn't stay in bounds, a lot of time the ball is thrown so a receiver can't. Kelly gives his receiver room with that throw, and Harmon, dropped the pass early, makes that catch for the nice first down inside the 10. And even though they went out of bounds to stop the clock, they're in a hurry-up mode. They're in that two-minute offense. Kelly, he could do it. He did it against Miami. No, he goes down. Yeah, he's got a holding call back there, Charlie, and that is going to hurt. That is going to hurt him. No, no, not. 59 on the defense. Head slap. Head slap. <laughs> a good play. First and goal. It's closer, Taylor made no question. Raymond Thomas cut off outside. Good, good defensive play by Johnny Rember. Three wide receivers and Ronnie Harmon, who in reality is the fourth wide receiver. Kelly not happy with the formation, moved it around. Inside hand off to Thomas. Maybe a face mask. No, they're not going to call it. For Thomas, that is his 16th carry. Third down, four yards to go. Big down for Buffalo. Short lead, 7-6. Ooh. Kelly with the pressure. The pass is it a fumble? A it may be a forward. fumble. They're, they're, are they saying fumble? Did they he come may forward be saying with fumble. it? Or did the hit cause it? Did it, Wright is pointing it down. Charlie, it looked to me like that ball started forward on Kelly's hand, but they're saying that it was a fumble. Levy is saying, wait a minute, he's throwing the football. After review by the replay official, he's going to reverse the call. That was a forward pass. That will be the call by the officials. 31 yards on the attempt. And it's good again. Check for flags, it's okay. Time, 239. 30 to 24, Buffalo Trail. Kelly's pass is complete, and he goes to Thurman Thomas. Gain of nine. It'll be second down and one. We'll see the hurry up offense here, Charlie. Buffalo will not waste any time. 2.21 on the clock. They have all their timeouts. Back over the middle to Thomas again. Puts a move inside out. He's to the 40. And then out of bounds inside the 35 at the 33 yard line. 27 yards. A smart call. They know that the New England Patriots have got to respect the deep speed here. They just dump it inside to their best ball carrier. Gets a good block there and uses his speed to break outside. Fagan's there to knock him out of bounds. Big pickup. Inside handoff to Thomas. Fagan's again. 78 yards rushing, 87 yards receiving, and two touchdowns. One each way. 
Here's the screen, and it is dropped incomplete. It was to Thomas. Tremendous pressure by Vincent Brown, blitzing from the left side, forced Kelly to throw that football before the play developed. Going to be a little screen off to the right. Watch number 59 coming in right there, and you see Kelly just had to unload that ball a little too quick, and he couldn't quite get it to the dependable hands of Thurman Thomas. Third down and eight, 155 left in the ball game. Big third down, but this is four down territory, Charlie. You don't do anything but try and get it into the end zone, and two downs to get it. Kelly's pass for 353 yards. Ooh, incomplete. The opening tease, we talked about it. Let's show it to you. Jim Kelly and the Buffalo Bills have become the new Minutemen of the NFL. Week one, with no time on the clock, Kelly scores the winning touchdown. Week three, with the regulation clock expired, Kelly in overtime hits Andre Reed with the winning touchdown. Week six, as the clock runs out, and with Frank Reich at quarterback, that's the Reich idea. It is fourth down and eight. Bubble, oh. but it's fourth down. It's all over. Herbert, Herbert with a stiff arm. Grabs the hold of it and falls down. Have to, have to throw the ball. Andre Reed, he's got a half dozen catches. Chet Brooks makes the tackle after a six yard gain. You know, Jim Kelly, we had that remarkable stat. When he throws an interception this year, the Bills are one and six. And he's thrown two today. The Bills are really going to have to work at it, assuming they lose this game, to get it back together as a team because they still can do it, as you pointed out, Dick. So they're going to have problems with uh, just the, the attitude on the team because it's not too hard to start turning on each other when things go poorly. We saw it last week. It can happen this week. Uh, Kelly upset at the play calling. Uh, Thomas upset at Kelly's remarks. Uh, it, goes, it can run rampant through a team. Players refused to talk to the press 48 hours before I am. That was a first down to Harmon. Flag down. Andre Reed. Out of bounds at the 50-yard line. 11 years. Substitution, defense, 12 men on the field. It's declined. First down. I think, of course, we've been busy ourselves, but uh, when you break away from something, it's really tough to watch something you've spent your life uh, putting together. Well, that's a nice catch by the rookie BB who played at Chadron State of Nebraska and Western Illinois. You know, Dick, I can really have empathy for people that retire from the, in their careers and professions how it feels to leave it you, you care so much for it so much of your life and yet it's very natural to do it happens to all of us kelly good catch by thurman thomas and in this case in a way you can't walk totally away from it and just kind of close the blinds because you're involved with us in nbc sports part of your duty is to watch all teams and that includes san francisco oh sure and it's a great change and i have no regrets it's just a natural phenomenon. Ronnie Harmon getting a block from Richer using the sideline. Stops the clock. Out of bounds at the 22. 10 minutes and 17 seconds left. But a big mountain for the Bills to climb. They trail 21 to 3. Two other late games today. The Rams apparently are going to clinch. Well, they are not going to clinch a wild card apparently because Washington's coming back at Atlanta trailing by only three. Thomas brought down by Brooks at the 17-yard line. So Kelly now, this is what we saw, well, going back all the way early in the season against Denver. Kelly just running the no-huddle shotgun offense, and he's, he's calling the entire show now. This isn't anything from the bench. He's in charge. Caught as he tried to sprint upfield by Pierce Holt. Holt saved a big gainer. There was no one downfield, and he reached out and knocked him down. Pierce Holt, his wife, Deanna, watches him today. There she is in the crowd. Uh, when you talk about a team, a marital team, Kelly. Oh, boy, he 
he threw that up for grabs. Now that's the kind of pass that just scares everyone who roots for Jim Kelly. He plays brilliantly and there throws a ball to one white shirt with four red ones around him. Well, the, the Bills do okay with a four receiver offense in their shotgun. They do okay. Their problem is converting from the running game to this form of passing. There isn't an awful lot in between. We saw the interception uh, just a short time ago. Uh, they haven't developed their play pass system of football as well as maybe they could have. Now it's fourth down and four and a half. There's a first down to Reed, the ever dependable wide receiver. First and goal to the nine yard line. Brooks and Johnny Jackson make the tackle as eight catches now for Andre Reed and 97 yards to lead everyone in that department. That gives him 80 catches for the year. Over the middle, and Thomas is to the one yard line. Michael Walder is completed. Recognizing they need three possessions and three scoring possessions. Buffalo not wasting a second. And Kennebrew is stopped at the goal line. Does not get in. Not scoring will cost him the game. He almost half the throw. Go and the touchdown run in by Kelly himself. That's and he hits BB. A first down and he stops the clock across the 30 yard line. That is one fine pass. He just leaned into that and was right on the money. At some point in his career, Kelly can become a great player. He really can. Last off last year, he was uh, one of the very best, but to get all those skills that are necessary. This one is to Reed. He fumbles the ball. 49ers recover. Michael Walter has it and with it, goes a lot of hopes. Shoot up all of the Bills' timeouts. Now you get to see your prevent defense, three pass rushers. Here comes the screen. Ronnie Harmon. Getting out of bounds at the 32. That was a wise choice. He might have made another five or six yards more going upfield, but the timeout is uh, much more precious at this point. That time Hull came out as a blocker. He just ran right past uh, a defender on the screen. Just looked right past him. Kelly guns the ball to Beebe. Was he in bounds? Yes. At the 46-yard line, 14-yard play, first down. He's developing into a tough little receiver, BB, and you've got to respect his speed. He's the fastest on the team. Well, the 49ers didn't have any number of players today, Keenan Turner in particular, uh, but Pete Cooper didn't play. Larry Roberts didn't see the action, so they still have a lot of talent outside of the men you've seen today. Thurman Thomas can't get to the sidelines, tackled at the 48-yard line, San Francisco territory. After a gain of five or six, Walter and Brooks made the stop. Michael Walter, there is one of the unheralded players on a great team. He just gets it done, leads them in tackles, and is always in the right spot. Well, he's definitely a Pro Bowl quality player. Kelly throws it over the head of Thomas as he was scrambling. You have to account for people like Mike Walter on a football team. He gives you a lot of mobility. He runs about a 4 7 40. He's big and active. A very bright guy, but more important, he has stamina, resourcefulness, and he can play the entire season, rarely missing a play. And he can he... do everything you ask. Rush the passer, cover on a pass. Dump off to Thomas. But goes after him, Walter again, and he's got him at the 40. It is a first down for Buffalo. Walter's also proud to be an Oregon Duck. Oregon had not been in a bowl game in 26 years, won the Independence Bowl last night against Tulsa. That'll make Ahmad Rashad happy as well. Kelly runs it out of bounds at the 40, no gain. Gee, Ronnie Harmon should have made a block right there, Dick. He had a chance to cut off the pursuit people, and he dodged the 
the defender who was uh, pass rushing. Not very nice, Ronnie. 215 yeah. left. Boy, you got to pay the price, Ronnie. That's all there is to it. He had a big lineman, I admit, but he had to make that block. He just forced Kelly to run out of bounds. Now that's something that we've learned in the last week, how the 49ers block downfield, especially those wide receivers. And uh, Matt Millen said Jerry Rice's blocks on Taylor's touchdowns last Monday night were, one, were the real highlight of his pro career. Underneath the read, gain of about eight. Romanowski, the tackler, and that'll take it down to the two-minute uh, timeout unless they really get a playoff in a big hurry. No, they're not going to be able to. About it. They've got everything it takes. Now the Bills trying to come up with a big play. No timeouts remaining. We're in the final two minutes. Thurman Thomas gets it to the 16-yard line. Well, a score here would help the Bills just psychologically because they can be so depressed, so frustrated getting back on that plane, and yet their whole their season can start fresh if they can win next week. Kelly over the middle. Harmon, little reversal. Can't get out of bounds, and down he goes at the eight-yard line. Kelly needs a quick score and then an onside kick. As they get into that, uh, don't waste a second, almost a panic offense. It's almost a panic offense, but Kelly's handled it very well. This is a part of their game that's been very effective. And talking to Marv Levy, he's been concerned about their ability to score late in the game. And touchdown, San Francisco. 21-10 to score. 115 left. Kelly has a man open, Thomas, but he's out of the end zone. No touchdown. Well, Dick, you asked about the timeout a few seconds ago by the 49ers. They were in a prevent defense being backed down towards their own goal line, and they had to get their regular defense in. Now, this was no way it could have been caught in bounds, but it was a well-thrown ball. Thomas just wasn't alert enough to be in line. So third down and two. Kelly under pressure. Throws it up for grabs, and it's caught by San Francisco. Chet Brooks. Complete to Thurman Thomas, who has taken control of the offense of the Bills in the second half. What a game he is having. Now hurry up offense. Late in the season, Kelly had looked almost exclusively to Andre Reed when he got in trouble. Today, his guys have gone back to Thurman Thomas, especially here in the second half. Incomplete. A little short. BB, the intended receiver. Let's go back to Thurman Thomas coming out of the backfield. Thomas able to run the ball so effectively, but extremely quick in getting out of the backfield and then making good adjustments. Wide open on that play. Mike Johnson coming up to try and make the tackle on him, but he avoids him very easily. The screen to Harmon. And he spins out of one tackle. Still is going. He's got the first down. He got five, six, maybe seven yards on his own. 45-yard line. First down. Harmon, a big play receiver and a big play runner. Used almost exclusively on the young, long yardage situations. And Kelly quickly back. No huddle. Dropped underneath the covers. Thomas turns. Sees the defender. Moves past him. That was Clay Matthews. Again, having to pick up Thurman Thomas out of the backfield. First down, gain of 15. And the Bills are on the move. And fans here booing. They don't like the choice that Bud Carson has made here. And Carson, in essence, is saying, we're going to give you yardage for time on the clock. They're still playing deep. They're still opening room inside for Thomas. Will he go there again? Yes. yes. Right back. All day. They're trying to strip that football away. And Matthews, the first man there, trying to jerk the arms away from that football. But Thomas said, hey, you're not going to cover me. <laughs> Let's get the football over here. I can make some yards. At the 34-yard line, second down. They can't allow for those one-on-one -on -one matchups with Thomas. 
Kelly to Thurman Thomas again. Slips a tackle. Has the first down. Heads for the sideline. He'll stop the clock. Moves to the 25-yard line. And he's got to be exhausted. Clock stopped with 4.40 left to go. That's a lot of time. The margin is 10 points. You see the gasping for air there. Thurman Thomas has had a very hard second half. A little screenplay here. Right over the middle. Thomas sees pressure inside. Gets away from one tackle by Harper. Well, quickly back to action. Ronnie Harmon, same spot. Same play. Has the first down and more inside the five. The hurry of offense starting back at the Bills 23. Thane Gash saves the touchdown. Three yard line, 22 yards. First down and goal to go. But Carson is very unhappy with his defense right at this moment. Player down. Be able to maintain their offensive edge. First and goal at the three. Thurman Thomas back in. Kelly throws. Thurman Thomas has it into the end zone for the touchdown. Kelly's pass complete to Thurman Thomas. Touchdown, Buffalo. To shut down Thurman Thomas. And Kelly has got to take them 74 yards for the score. Almost 10 yards on the opening play of this drive. Again, haunted by the fact that they cannot get pressure on Kelly. Ronnie Harmon on the receiving end. Again, the hurry-up offense. 45 sacks on the year, one today, and Kelly has had time to stand all day. Second and one, Harmon again, going underneath the coverage. 43-yard line, first down. And Cleveland has had its immense heart broken in this kind of a drive before going deep incomplete to Lofton Lofton had good good tight coverage that he ran into and he couldn't get away from it Thane Gash and Kyle Kramer were there for the Brown it figured they had hit them so short and so many times up front they had to try deep Kelly tried it, but there was no one there. Second and 10, 153. Time remaining. The winner goes to the championship game. Steps away. Oh, incomplete. Kyle Kramer, the rookie from Bowling Green, could not pull down the interception. It's third down and 10. Back at the 42-yard line, 146 left. Kramer getting playing time because of the injury to Tony Blaylock. And had an opportunity to be well remembered on this day. The Bills successful underneath. Now have gone long. Kelly's in trouble. Steps away. Knocked down. down to Don Beebe. The drive continues. 125 and counting. Lions with the tackle. No timeouts remaining. They've got to keep it alive. That means that they're going to have to go to the sideline and what's going on. Have the officials stopped it here? No. The Cleveland the, calls the, the timeout. The Browns have taken a timeout. too tall. Robert Lyons was again chasing him. Second and ten at the 41. But back on the line quickly. Kelly showing you some good movement in that pocket. Buying extra time. Herman Thomas. He's and out of bounds to stop clock. the clock. One minute. Harper was chasing him. 
Thomas, you see him right there and breaking to the sideline. Again, lots of room. Matthews trailing from behind. Harper, number 23, bumps him out of bounds. And continuing a hurry up now to stop the clock. Too many men on the field. Cleveland did not have a man off. Cleveland did not have a man clear. That's the reason, perhaps, that Buffalo was hurrying. No, they, or did they have? They called timeout right before. They knew that's what they were doing. They were hurrying up, trying to cut down on their defensive changes with a hurry-up offense and no huddle going to the audibles. <laughs> Kelly's in trouble, spins away. He gets away again. Not this time. Not this time. Now, they can call, but they're not going to. Converting early in this drive on fourth and ten. This is fourth and one. Over the middle, it's there. Andre Reed has the first down. They've got to hurry now. That's the clock is running. It said he's going to spike it in the ground. Yes. Good play. That's what the rules put in for. A little chance to regroup costs you down. And in reworking their defense, the Browns have the Browns have put Minifield back into the regular mix. Art Modell. Well, yes, if your team was down to where it is right now and the score was what it is right now, with all on the line, you would be nervous. Second down, 10 yards to go. Three man up. No complete. BB, it was low. It'll be third down. No timeouts remaining. Two downs for sure. Do you go to the end zone now from out here? You got a little more depth to work with. He goes short. Herman Thomas. Thomas, Thomas still on his feet to the 11. 11. He's got the first down. He's got the first down at the 11. They can spike again, of course. And Get number 34, set. Charlie, keeps coming up. Spike again, stop the clock. 14 seconds left, no timeout. Thurman Thomas has been unbelievable. You almost want to say, where was Thurman in the first half? He has owned the second half. Did he miss the bus? Oh, <laughs> Certainly got a late start, but the second half of this ball game has been spectacular. What they've got to do, get their hands on that football or shut down the Bills in this last 14 seconds, and this one is all over. And remember now, it is second down and 10 because it was first down and he spiked to stop the clock. And 14 seconds left. So you got three downs, you go to the end zone all three times. There's one as a man open and complete. Ronnie Harmon will make a difficult catch and then he'll drop an easy one. It's been his history. He just dropped a game winning touchdown. But it wasn't all that easy a catch. Not an easy catch. But in this situation the great player makes the big play. Harmon did not make it in that situation. Third down. Herman Thomas is off on the right wing. It is intercepted at the one. With Don Smith and Andre Reed lined up on the same side and wide. Keith McKellar, the tight end, makes the catch. It's a no-huddle offense right away as Jim Kelly wants them to get up to the line of scrimmage right away. There's the front seven. The rookie, Matt Vanderbeek, gets the started linebacker. He came to the team as a defensive lineman. Thurman Thomas. He bumps into his own man, Jim Richard, as there was a lot of traffic, and most of it was Buffalo Bills, and Keith Taylor makes the stop on the play. And let's check the rest of the Colts' defensive lineup as Thomas heads back to the huddle. In their nickel and dime situations, 
Bickett becomes a down lineman. Good comes up there with Michael Ball. And the secondary, you see it there, as the Bills are going no huddle right away. And Thurman Thomas makes the catch on first down. And once again, Kelly's going up there. Chris, the reason they're doing this, this allows Kelly to call his own game, really. This really doesn't even look like the Buffalo Bills offense that I recognize. I thought they'd come out and try and establish a run. They're running and shooting right now. Now it's Thomas with the run. And a good open field tackle by the safety, Mike Pryor. Now, when they started doing this, Chris was in the Cleveland playoff game last year. Remember, they were so far behind in the fourth quarter. And then they had to go with no huddle, and it really worked. And everybody thinks that Jim Kelly will check off from a run to a pass, but quite often it's the other way. They've been very happy with the way he's been calling his own play. Thomas gets a first down. They haven't gone to a huddle yet. Thomas will check out of the lineup right now as he's been a busy guy. I think he's winded more than anything else. Remember, he hasn't played at all during the preseason. And you know, you get a little extra winded uh, in the opening day, too. The nerves get to you a little bit, so you get a little tired or a little more tired faster. Kelly squeezes one into McKellar. He's out to the 45-yard line. Keith McKellar. The great thing that Jim Kelly's able to do right now is he's keeping the, the Indianapolis Colts in a set defense. He looked left through a left to the right. Just no problem. Nice little hole in the zone. Hardly have time to breathe on second down. It's McKellar again. <laughs> 20 yards and another first down. McKellar's having a career already out here this afternoon, and he's a little tired. He's going to come over and get a little Gatorade. The Bills haven't gone to a huddle yet. They keep coming right back to the line of scrimmage. And Kelly is red hot as he finds Thurman Thomas. Do you think these fans like this type of offense around here? This is something they've never seen out of the Buffalo Bills. And right now, they're making it look awfully easy out there. And once again, Jim Kelly's calling his own game right now. There hasn't been a play come in from the line of scrimmage. Thomas by run. Short gain to the 25-yard line of Indianapolis. Wayne Bickett makes the tackle. What a block by Glenn Parker. Glenn Parker out there in front, 6'5", 301 pounds, absolutely destroying the defender and making that play possible. Once again now, Kelly has them right up to the line of scrimmage. Ball is caught. Don Smith makes the catch up near another... Buffalo Bill first down inside the 15 down to the 13 yard line. A a AFC beware. Really. If the Buffalo Bills are going to be this impressive on offense the entire football season, AFC beware. And Indianapolis has to call a timeout. It's almost like a scene in the NBA. Uh, Kelly is seven for seven. Thomas to the nine yard line defense and a very basic defense and not make substitutions and uh, it is working very well right now for the Buffalo Bills. So that was a rare sight seeing the Bills break out of a huddle. First down and goal inside the 10. Larry Kinnebrew in motion. Thomas fumbles and was able to get there and recover his own fumble but they'll lose some yardage back over the 15 back to the 18 yard line. Now you have to wonder why they're going back to the huddle. Things were going so smoothly for them in the no huddle. They go back to the huddle and immediately begin to have problems. Nine on that play. Thomas in motion. That's McKellar. Stop. Is he worth his money? You bet. Right off the top. That's perfect. Eight for eight. But it's third and goal. They're at the ten. Shotgun with Don Smith in the backfield with Kelly. It's caught by Andre Reid. But the Colts stop him on the play. The tackle is finally made by Eugene Daniel. And so they'll have to settle for a field goal after they went down and looked like they were unstoppable. Listen to the crowd, though, for the Bills' offense. I really have to question the decision there to go back to the huddle, get out of the hurry-up offense, it had been so effective all the way down the field, it really gave the Colts' defense a chance to relax a little bit out there. 
And as soon as that happened, uh, they finally stopped the Bills. Scott Norwood set to attempt his first field goal, 29-yard attempt. Last year, 78%. Frank Wright, the backup quarterback for Kelly Holmes. This is for the early lead. On Sunday, number one in the NFL. Jim Kelly's putting some pretty good numbers up, too, and so is Thurman Thomas on the screen. Smart play running out of bounds like that kills the clock with 25 seconds left. But, Jim, now you're seeing the result of the play calling by the Indianapolis Colts. They get the football back at midfield. They're already uh, nearly in, in field goal position right here. Really have to question the play calling down there. Low snap on the shotgun. Don Smith. Out of the 19-yard line. And Kelly's going to set him right up again. He's not going to go to the huddle with 19 seconds left. They haven't been stopped yet in this no-huddle offense. In fact, it was only until they started going to the huddle on that first drive on first and goal at the 10 that they got stopped. Kelly. The rookie Alan Grant, as Kelly was trying to find Don Beebe, who was tucked away in the corner of the end zone. Nice play by Alan Grant. We talked to him yesterday. And as you said earlier, he seemed to be fairly relaxed. Oh, just gets his uh, fingertips out there. Nice play. It's always good to see a rookie come up with a play like that in his first game. You know he's feeling good about that one. Well, the crowd is booing because with 12 seconds left to go, and on only second down, the Bills are going to kick the field goal. Thirty-seven yard field goal attempt. Norwood is two for three on the day. and only one pass covering 51 yards, but we just saw it. The Dolphins lead by 23, Thurman Thomas. And getting it on first and 10. And we talked about, there's John Sandusky talking to Don Shuley. He is just a delightful man to be around. I've known him for quite some time. He had a picture in the paper with his young lineman the other day, and he was just as proud as he could be. Kelly working with a no huddle for Andre Reed. And it's incomplete, skipped in. Four minutes, nine seconds left in the third quarter. Andre Reed, one of the players that Kelly's going to have to get the ball to to try to get this offense on track. Third and eight now. Kelly from the 22. And throwing away wide of James Lofton. Good coverage in the secondary as well. J.B. Brown was right there with help from Rodney Thomas. Marv Levy, as frustrated as Jim Kelly is. That's why they call that a misdirection play. Kelly out of the shotgun, down by 30, has Thurman Thomas. And he's out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Dan Marino, knowing that that touchdown play was a good one, he gives a touchdown and a little let's go. Now let's watch number 78, Bruce Smith, who's thinking the play is coming at him, but he should know now they're not going to run at him. Kelly with plenty of time gets Andre Reed. But he is stopped at the original line of scrimmage by James Williams. Miami is just giving the Buffalo Bills that play that they like to run to Andre Reed where he comes underneath. They have stopped it cold the entire game. Second and long call it second and nine now for the Bills at their own 45. Kelly's got James Lofton. And Lofton's got a Buffalo first down to the 38-yard line. Well, if a team can be smarting from a loss last year, I guess you could say it's the Miami Dolphins. Where they lost 31-17 to at Buffalo because the Bills just blew them off the ball. 
280 yards on the ground for the Bills as Kelly overshoots his back and Don Smith. And in talking to the defensive coordinator, Ahmad, we were talking to Tom Alavadani of the Miami Dolphins. He said, without a doubt, that was their worst game of the entire season. Well, on the other side, you talk to Buffalo, and they say that was their best game. <laughs> so, I mean, and it showed in the score. Kelly throwing on second and ten. Thurman Thomas has it near the first down marker. The 29-yard line. And the Dolphins now just trying not to give up that big play. And in doing so, playing that loose defense. There's the Dolphins defensive coordinator. Tom Olivadotti. I said his name. I used to have trouble saying that, Olivadotti. Smith showing the concentration to hang on to it. And Olivadotti's defense is just, they're just playing loose, trying to let them catch the ball underneath and then punish him with the tackle, but they don't just want to give up the play, give up one big play right away and let him score too quickly. On first down, Kelly about to go down. He is. He's in the grass. And it's the second sack of the day for the Miami Dolphins. This one belonging to Lippert Hobley. Lifford Hobley coming with the blitz. You see Jim Kelly here looking downfield before he can get rid of this ball. Watch Lifford Hobley just come in, put the pressure on, and makes that sack. Thurman Thomas is the receiver that's responsible for blocking Hobley. We're not able to pull that off. And good news for Bills fans. Andre Reed is back in the game with four wide receivers on second and long. Kelly's got Reed. With a flag down in the play, it's complete to the one-yard line. And the holding, defense, number 22, Henley is declined. Goal for the Bills, the Dolphin one-yard line. Kinnebrew, does he get in? He is stacked up just short. Thomas in there with Kinnebrew in the backfield. It's Kinnebrew, and the Bills are on the board. Crayon every now and then. <laughs> 32. Another first down for Thurman Thomas, who continues to have a sensational night. He's after the 47. It's already the second best game of his career on the ground, and we are not even at halftime. It's 145 yards for Thomas. Kelly to Don Smith. He's short of the first down by two at the Jet 45. Thurman Thomas would like to become the second, only to Roger Craig to go over 1,000 yards rushing and 1,000 yards receiving. Let me do it tonight. On second and two, here's Thomas, who breaks the tackle behind the line of scrimmage and turns a two-yard loss into about a yard gain. It's going to be third and one at the 44. Big play coming up here. And they're going to conserve their timeouts, but now with a third and one, knowing they have to pick up the first down, they figure it's time to spend one. They I'm ready. <laughs> the third and one from the 44, and Thomas, on a second effort, may have picked up that one. Going to be a big... Oh. Up as if they're going to go for it. They may just be trying to get the Jets to be offside. But no, it's going to be Kelly on a sneak. He's got it easily. And he picks up the first down of the 41, and here's oh. a very late flag. Personal foul against the Jets. Oh, and there puts Buffalo at the 27. Remember, they're down to one timeout, 26 seconds. A little dump off to Thomas, and he's tackled at the 28. That's a loss of one. James Casey makes the stop. And Buffalo will spend its last time out and uh, there may have been a face mask call that was missed here and Al Edwards as well and Lofton goes to the right they give it to Thomas boy this is a risky play to the 23 yard line and the clock continues to run now we get a stoppage of the clock because the officials will not let the clock run out as long as the Jet players are on top. Well, the Bills are saying, forget the field goal. We're going to now. Kelly's going to throw it. They just do Whoa. stop there. I tell you, oh, boy. And what will be the final play of the half?
And this one is good. Very little offensively today to help their defense. Kelly from the shotgun, floods the defense with receivers, stands in, and he's going to be in trouble as he's knocked out at the 20. Again, great coverage by Denver. Oh, they're really ready. Defensive coordinator Wade Phillips has everybody tuned to what the Bills are going to do. Right back to the line of scrimmage they go. Fletcher coming hard. Kelly stands in. Ball is tipped. Almost intercepted. It's on the field. Incomplete. It'll be third down. Randy Robbins was right there with Thurman Thomas, number 48. But this 4-7 defense that Denver is showing is giving Buffalo no opportunity to complete passes. They're doubling every receiver, Don. It looks like the Broncos have 15 guys out there. <laughs> yeah. They're doubling everybody. They're playing with 11. Here's Kelly on third down. He needs 17. Open man, James Lofton. First down, Bills out to the 41-yard line. First down, Kelly stands in, throws it up the middle of the field. He gets his man down, Smith, and then the Broncos come pounding on the ball. These Broncos are really tackling today. But the Broncos are in the prevent mode here. They're going to make sure every reception is in front of a defender. The Bills come out of this first half with points. It'll be a big step. Here is a throw, and it's dropped. Wide open for the interception was Elliott Smith. Kelly is really rough, so that time he gunned it, and the Broncos again had a man right where he had to be. It did stop the clock. He's throwing on the run. Get him in a bad place, Trump. Right in the hand. Ball is intended for Andre Reed, and he was not open. Here's an up back, and it's taken by Don Smith as the Bills take it down to the 40-yard line. They go to their bag of tricks. First down. 52 yep. seconds to play. Plenty of time. No reason to rush or hurry. That's not a bad idea, though, with the clock running and 45 seconds to play. Here's an outlet pass, oh. and Thurman Thomas takes his eye off the ball. Almost a good play to drop it, believe it or not, for this reason. If there was defenders right there to nail him. He'd only gained about two yards, and the incomplete stops the clock. Second down. Kelly looks, dumps it off. This oh, is down play. Smith. Good He's play. going to be able to get out of bounds if he plays it right. He did not. Stayed in bounds. For the NFL in attendance, virtually every year, they're either at or near the top. Out pattern, ball is caught. Look at that strike put on by an angry Elliott Smith. Al Edwards caught the ball. 16 seconds left. Kelly downs the ball. Stop. They called Elliott Smith one a day in the spring in the summer drills. He was catching so many interceptions, but he missed that one. And now the Bills get an incomplete pass with the 11 seconds back. Frank Reich. Not inconceivable, he could get up and throw it. Third down. 11 seconds left. They go to the kick, and Norwood this time drills it up and good. Stay in the huddle. I think they have to use, they have a regular no huddle offense. Out of the shotgun, Kelly will put it up. To the short man, Andre Reed, and a whistle. He's stopped at the 28-yard line. Terry McDaniel made the stop. Second and two. You know, it's a, it's a no beginning. huddle, you're right, Pat. Yeah. At the beginning of the show, we said this was a key early game of the season, fifth game of the season, for showing who's going to be some of the better teams of the AFC East. And it's still that way here in the fourth quarter. Kelly will put it up. He's got a man complete. Mike Harden, the stop. They'll go without a huddle again. 9.45 left. This is what you want to be doing. Again, not wasting any time in the huddle when you're down by 10 points. And this is a natural thing for them. They run the no-huddle stuff. Kelly is chased out of the pocket. He'll have to run. Midfield. Down he goes. Townsend made the tackle. 
Ellison was there as well. You know, Craig Townsend, who's had a big year for the Raiders as a pass rusher, really has been kind of quiet tonight. Will Wolford, the left tackle for the Bills, has done a pretty nice job. Clock ticks with 9-10 remaining. Thomas loves to run the ball north and south. So that's that's where I gain my yards. That's where the where the end zone is. From the 43, Thomas now 11 carries, 50 yards. Kelly goes for all of it. He's got a man. Touchdown. Left it. to play in the first half. Kelly, an experienced veteran, working calmly, dumps it off up the middle. They're going to get more. It's taken by Kenneth Davis inside the 25-yard line, and the clock ticks down to 103 to play. And with the Jets and the Vikings, Pete Carroll, he says the talent here is better than they've performed so far. When they come together under this system, this is going to be a lot better D. Right now, Kelly ready to attack it, dumps it off again. Kenneth Davis on the run. He's inside the 15-yard line. He's down to the 12 as the game clock is running with 53 seconds to play. Kyle Clifton makes the tackle again. So Kelly now, that old adage about taking what the defense gives you, just dumps it up the middle. That's right. You take your receivers, you send them deep, and you dump it over to the running backs right underneath the line of scrimmage. Kelly again, end zone throw. Off the hands of James Lofton. Stopping the clock with 30. Second down comes up now for the Bills. They trail the Jets 21-14. Into the end zone, and the ball is tipped away. Don Smith was wide open. He just started to warm up in the second quarter because the first quarter, they didn't have the ball hardly at all. Kelly now starting to get in a groove. 128 yards and two touchdowns. Here's a throw. It's off the hands of McKellar. It was where it needed to be. He has become more cagey, more knowledgeable, knows how to work a defense. Now, field goal attempt. Spun up and good. By the last couple of weeks, and Buddy Richter is one hot quarterback. Steelers, as mentioned, have the number one defense in the American Conference. Here's Kelly. Luke Ball, he has a man open, but he can't get the connection to Keith McKellar. He lead the Bills 27-24. This could be the final drive for the Bills as the ball is thrown downfield, and Andre Reed, on a second and ten play, gets out of bounds, maybe inches short of the first down. Now power set on third and inches. Over the top goes Don Smith. First down okay. Buffalo. And now it's coming down to the last two minutes of this game. Two minutes to go. Jets 27, Bills 24. Kelly stands in. Makes the connection to Metzlar's. Not for very much. Kelly's it's out to the 47-yard line. And it uses up time. The one positive for these New York Jets is they have played their way to a position where they got a chance to win this football game. It's a doubleheader day on NBC Sports. The Steelers and the 49ers are coming up on most of these stations. Here's Kelly standing in on second down. A throw and a catch to Metzler. And the Jets do well and cut him down inbounds. They can't stop the clock. Down to the 40-yard line. A 13-yard gain on the play. With a three-point lead. Kelly on first down. Throw and a catch to Andre Reed. He's to the 29-yard line. First down, Buffalo. And the clock continues to run. An 11-yard gain. Kelly, coolly, and aided by his crowd who keeps the noise down, sets again. From the shotgun, the Jets come with a four-man run. 
too high. Almost intercepted by Joe Mott. That would have finished the Bills and won it for the Jets. Had Joe Mott been able to pick it off. Ball thrown a little bit behind Andre Reed. Kelly just pointing his ball in there. Reed Reed's trying to pull it down one-handed and knocks it up in the air. And Joe Mott almost with the grab. Of course, if he could catch that good, he wouldn't be playing defense. Two big reception producers today for the Bills. Andre Reed, seven catches for 100 yards, and James Lawson, three for 99. Of course, he got that big touchdown in the third quarter. Second down and 10. Long ball in the end zone. James Lofton, too much on it. And the clock has stopped with 57 seconds to play. And third down comes up for the Bills. This is a long field goal try into a swirling wind if the Bills don't convert on this third down attempt. And there's Norwood who missed one from in close at this end not long ago. At this point, they've got to try to get a reception or get a play to get them down close and to try to go for the field goal just to tie this game up. I don't think you'll see him throwing for the end zone. At this point, you want to try to get in position to give your kicker a chance to, to put you back in the football game. We're looking at the 46 yards from where the ball is spotted now. Kelly against the blitz, stands in, delivers the ball. It's caught by Andre Reed for a Buffalo first down at the 13-yard line. Kelly on offensive day worked long and hard on slam patterns to the post on this yarded situation. Kelly dumps it off to Mueller. And he's going to be stood up and thrown back for a loss of a yard on the play. And the game clock ticks down to 38. Now to 35. The Bills align. Second down and 10. They trail the Jets 27 to 24. 25 seconds to play in the game. Kelly looks. He's rough. He gets time. He's in trouble. He throws. Touchdown, Buffalo! Jamie Mueller! Pick it up. Kelly over the middle to Thurman Thomas. And the zone defense of Cleveland hems him in, makes the knockdown at the 38-yard line. Bills will align without a huddle now as the game clock is down inside a minute to play in the first half. 56 seconds to play. Kelly on second and four. Gives what the takes with the defense gives him, and Thurman Thomas gets a first down to the 45. And the Bills let it keep running. Uh, they've got two timeouts left. 35 seconds in running. Kelly in over the middle throw, and he's got his man, Andre Reed, all the way down to the 30 yard line. And the Bills call a timeout. Well, the defense is kind of coming apart here in this rush by Buffalo, averaging just under 80,000 a game. Almost 80,000 here today as Kelly on a first and 10 with 25 seconds to play in the half. Fastball, and Andre Reed makes the play at the 24-yard line. Browns that time had seven defensive backs in the ball game. Bills will try to get another playoff here, just throw the ball down and stop the clock. That's legal. From apart. Norwood, a 43-yard field goal. Frank Reich is the holder. No good. Against Buffalo. From the 35 yard line, first down for the Bills. Kelly throws incomplete. Intended for Don Smith. The other thing we should point out tonight if the Bills win this game, they will clinch. A playoff spot. They will not, of course, clinch the division. They will clinch at least a wild card berth. And in the NFC, the Giants have already clinched at least a wild card berth, not the division. They'll take on San Francisco next week. Here's a pass over the middle, out to midfield. It's caught by Thurman Thomas for a first down. And the Bills going with a no huddle offense. Well, here they go. 
reminiscent of Cincinnati calling everything right up by the line of scrimmage. 2.39 to go in the half as Kelly retreats and oh, that'll get a Thomas fly. interfered with. Yes, he was. Oh, absolutely. And it came late. late. The Dishman was all over it. Yep. Little doubt. Same pattern that Simon Thomas caught a moment ago coming across the middle. This time Dishman grabbed it. Fast interference. Defense. Number 28. First down. No attempt to play the football. Chris Dishman just going in and tackling Thurman Thomas. You're going to be that close. You better be making some sort of a some sort of an effort at the football. That's going to bring the flag every time. First and ten from the 44. It's Thomas. <laughs> nice move. Takes it down to the 41 yard line. Ran around Dishman. But it was such a nice move. He couldn't keep his feet. <laughs> yeah. This is really, I think, an excellent move by Buffalo going to the no huddle here at this stage of the half. As the half winds down, each team with its full complements of timeouts remaining. It's caught at the 35 by Lawson, and he gets wrestled out of bounds. Richard Johnson making sure that uh, James was not going to stray any further. That takes us to the two-minute warning. Forward progress took Lawson to the 35-yard line. They're a little short of a first down, so a key third and one will be coming up. When play resumes. Well, I, I know some girls that would never listen to that. <laughs> On third and one, it is Kenneth Davis who takes the ball to the 31 yard line. He is stopped by Al Smith and Richard Johnson, and it's a first down for Buffalo, and they don't want to waste a timeout here. They have all three. Clock continues to run 141, 140 and counting. You haven't watched Jim Kelly much. He's very good at managing the clock with the two minute game. And he hits Reed over the middle, and Andre Reed takes it to the 18-yard line and a Buffalo first down. Stopped by Brown. Andre Reed is the perfect receiver for a crossing pattern because of that exceptional upper body strength he has. He's really, I think, suitably equipped to take that big shot you know you're going to get. First and 10 from the 18-yard line. Wide open is Andre Reed. How did Andre Reed ever get that? Open. I don't think that Andre Reed thought he was that open. He turned around and I think he thought he was going to get popped. He went almost to his knees and then was able to move it inside the 10. But he was wide open. Usually, in this situation, you can throw the ball in the middle when you can't throw it outside. First and goal from the seven. And it's incomplete. And that stops the clock with 47 seconds. I mean, Andre Reed is a guy who gets double teamed a lot. And he was open by 10 yards. Thurman Thomas was saying what am I doing being covered by a defensive end that was William Fuller out there running with him even here with the clock stop Buffalo will not go into a huddle find that a little strange Dan mm -hmm. they're having success with it but you have the opportunity to huddle if you want to start number 79 section 75 and 69 come in it's getting a little picky here isn't it well, you gotta like a referee though that mm -hmm. says please right good Good example to the youth of America. You said please and thank you, kind of thing. <laughs> Second and goal from the 13-yard line. That's Reed coming in motion to the inside. Kelly throwing to the back of the end zone, and it's a touchdown, and again, it's Keith McKellar. Four games in the fourth quarter late this they've, year. They've had some miracle finishes. First down, Kelly throws, and they begin this little hope for miracle with a pass to Smith, and Don Smith goes all the way to the Houston 36-yard line. Boy, has this guy really been a factor in this game? Mm. Don Smith, who really lives in the shadow of Thurman Thomas, emerging here tonight. We, You know this guy's got skills, especially receiving skills out of the backfield, but He's making an impact tonight for Buffalo. 39-yard gain and no huddle. First down at the 36-yard line. Kelly going deep. Phoebe's out in front, but he leads them a yard too much. Oh, that was six. He'd gotten by Patrick Allen. And he represents the speed for the wide receivers of the Buffalo Bills. And that time, Kelly just off the fingertips. And he had him. He was by Patrick Allen, and... 
Kelly led him to the outside. Perhaps if he had led inside, he might have had a better chance to get it. Second and ten. Kelly throws it out to Reed, who gets taken out of bounds by Johnson and Brown. I tell you, that's a, it's a great pass. <laughs> Reed was covered as well as you're ever going to cover a wide receiver in that situation, and Kelly just made him catch it. That puts the ball at the 29-yard line. 6.07 remaining. Fourth quarter. Third and two. Kelly throws. It's caught by Reed. That's a first down. He takes it to the 23-yard line. And look at Andre Reed. I mean, I here is a guy that's got a bad ankle. Been out of the game once or twice. They go to the sidelines. And he catches a pass like that, and he caught it for first down yardage, and yet, rather than go down, tries to stay alive and make something happen. Uh, that guy could play on my team any day. First down from the 23-yard line. Kelly under a lot of pressure. And Kelly gets taken down to the 22-yard line as the secondary did its job. Johnny Needs gets credit for the tackle. Kelly not exactly reminding me of another number 12 at quarterback. <laughs> 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 Rock and Randall. Hardly a scintillating scramble there. <laughs> Meanwhile, there are the Bills as Kelly has spread it around. Seven different receivers have caught balls tonight. Half dozen for Reed. Second and eight. Over the middle. Juggle incomplete. Off the fingertips of Thurman Thomas. Bubba McDowell's key hit there is what kept Thurman from bringing that one in. Thurman was just trying to pull the bobble ball in, and he was really hammered by McDowell. Here it is, right here. Bubba hit the ball and Thurman. Third and eight. And it's caught by Smith at the 10, and a first down as he takes it to the six. Stop by Kennard. 4.45 remaining, and looking ahead, the Bills have all of their timeouts left. They're down by 10. They have a first and goal at the six. Even though they're not using the huddle, what Buffalo did there was take enough time away from the line of scrimmage to allow the Oilers to go ahead and substitute. They're kind of defeating their purpose. Kelly dumps it for Jamie Mueller, and Mueller goes Whoa. to the two. Ooh. <laughs> right there. There's and Smith. <laughs> Three tight end set. Don't forget Butch Roll in these situations. And it is incomplete, intended for Metzelars, but it's bounced. <laughs> Metzelars, who's already scored a touchdown tonight, doing his best to convince the officials. With... And they give it to Thomas, who swings to the outside and gets in. Thurman Thomas.